Seven runs was the difference as England women secured the T20 series versus the West Indies with a third successive win. The home team went into Game 3, needing a win to keep the series alive, but England put in a creditable batting performance on the backs of Sophia Dunkley and Heather Knight, who made 44 and 43 respectively. They amassed 157 for 6 in their 20 overs, with the West Indies bowlers sharing the wickets. Aaliyah Allen's 1 for 12 in 2 overs with the most attractive bowling figures, but the figures of Charlie Dean were the ones decisive in the outcome. She tore into the Windy's response, taking 4 wickets for 19 runs in her 4 overs as they could only manage 140 for 8 before the overs ran out. Once again, Rashada Williams topped the batters with 38. Captain Haley Matthews contributed 35 in the losing effort. Game 4 of the 5-match series is currently underway in Bridgetown, Barbados. Meanwhile, West Indies women's coach Courtney Walsh is taking the positives despite the defeat to the England women. Very happy with the last two games the way we sort of fought today, especially in this one in particular. Um, at one season, I thought I would have get there, but when we reflect back, we look at some of the reasons why we didn't, but the effort that we showed in the last two games, and as I say in particular in this one, very, very pleasing. And it's also good that we have some youngsters around who showing that fight and really, you know, with what's ahead, I'm just excited for, for, for them. But the, for the team on a whole, you know, we're trying to create a different culture, a different, different approach, and the learning is taking place all the time. And really, today, I'm really pleased. He believes if the team can maintain the fight, all is not lost for the series. Well, if we can keep this momentum and keep challenging, keep, keep, keep pushing, keep improving in every department, um, then you know, that's what we want to see because the big picture is the World Cup. And if we can keep improving and keep pushing teams, um, England is a very good side. If we can keep pushing them and learn by our mistakes, hopefully by the time we get to the Tri-Series and the World Cup, you know, we'll, be, we'll have a lot, of things, a lot more things under control. That's a look at sport. Your weather's up next. Stay with us.